Hello all, welcome back to Public Connect. So in this video, we are going to understand how to create mail light subscriber from Facebook lead ads and add details in Google Sheet. So are you also using Facebook lead ads to promote and grow your business? Then this video is definitely for you. So over here, I'm doing the same. I'm running a skincare business and to promote and grow my business, I use Facebook lead ads. So now what I want is that as soon as the new lead is received in my Facebook lead ads, automatically with the help of the same lead details, a new subscriber should be created in my MailerLite account and also that detail should be added in my Google Sheets so that I can nurture my leads. So to do this we are going to create a connection between Facebook lead ads, MailerLite and Google Sheets. To create this connection without knowing any programming or coding language we are going to use Pabli Connect. It is an amazing automation software. So I'm going to follow this procedure so that I can convert my leads into paying clients. So do you also wish to learn this process step by step? Then let me take you to my computer screen Welcome to my screen. So as you know in this video we are going to understand how to create Mailer Lite subscriber from Facebook lead ads and add details in Google Sheets. So as you know that in my skincare business effectively managing and nurturing leads is essential for growing our customer base and driving sales. So to enhance this process I want to create this automation where I want to connect my Facebook lead ads, Mailer Lite and Google Sheets. So what I want is that as soon as a new lead is received from my Facebook lead ads automatically the details of that lead should be added in my Google Sheets and with the help of the same details only a subscriber should be created in my MailerLite account too. So to do all of this I have simply opened the landing page of Pabli by searching pabli.com slash connect in my browser. It is very easy. So as soon as we are going to open the landing page of Pabli we are going to get two options. One is sign in and the another one is sign up for free. So if you are new user, you can click on sign up for free and you are going to get 100 of tasks free every month. But I am an existing user so I am going to click on sign in right over here and as soon as we are going to click on sign in it is opening all Pabli apps over here you can see all the tools and applications offered by Pabli but in today's video we are going to use Pabli connect because we are connecting different applications so I'm going to click on access now right over here to access my Pabli connects account and as soon as we are going to click on access now it is opening my dashboard and to start with the automation we are going to click on this button which is create workflow and now it is asking me the workflow name and the folder I want to save the workflow in. So I want to save the workflow in this folder which is automations and I want to name my workflow as how to create mailer light subscriber from Facebook lead ads and add details in Google Sheets and then we are going to click on create and as soon as we are going to click on create it is opening the most important window of our automation which is our workflow window. So this is the most important window because we have trigger an action in this. Trigger means when this happens. An action means do this. So by this you can understand that the trigger is the commander for the workflow and actions follow the commands. And as you know that we can have only a single commander but multiple followers. So here we can have only a single trigger but multiple actions following the commands of our trigger. And now to start with our automation we have to select our trigger application. So for our trigger application we are going to select it as Facebook lead ads. So I'm going to look for Facebook lead ads right over here and as you can see the same. So we are going to select it and after selecting our trigger application it is asking me for the trigger event. So I want to select the trigger event as new lead instant and as soon as we are going to select this we are going to click on connect and as soon as we are going to click on connect it is asking me to add a new connection or select the existing connection. So if you have already connected your Facebook lead ads account with your Pabli's workflow you can click on select existing connection and then save but if you haven't you have to follow me click on add a new connection and then connect with Facebook lead ads and as soon as we are going to click on connect with Facebook lead ads it is going to show me my account so as you can see that this is my Facebook account so I'm going to select it and click on continue and as soon as we are going to click on continue it is saying you previously logged in right over here so again I'm going to click on continue as Jesse only and as soon as we are going to click on continue you can see that we have successfully connected our Facebook lead ads account with our Pabli's workflow and now it is asking me for the page and the lead gen form. So over here you can see the name of my page is Natural Glow Skincare. So this is the name of my company too and this is the Facebook page. So I'm going to select this same right over here as my page which is Natural Glow Skincare. So I'm going to look for my page and as you can see that this is my page so I'm going to select it and as soon as we are going to select this it is going to ask me for the lead gen form. So over here I have created multiple lead gen forms for my page. So I'm 
I'm going to select one from this only which is lead ads form because I want to create this automation only for this particular form. So if you want to create this automation for all your lead gen forms, you can select all lead gen forms or any another desired form. So I'm going to select my desired form and then we are going to click on save and send test request. And as soon as we are going to click on save and send test request, it is saying waiting for a webhook response. And in the notes, it is saying do a test submission slash record. So in order to capture this webhook response, we have to do a test submission. And in order to do this test submission, what we have to do is we are going to open a new tab and then we are going to look for meta for developers. So I'm going to look for meta for developers right over here. And then we are going to open meta for developers. And as soon as we are going to open the landing page of meta for developers, from here we are going to go on more and then tools. And as soon as we are going to do this, we are going to scroll and select lead ads R2 debug tool. And now it is opening my lead ads testing tool. So we are going to use this same tool in order to create a demo response or a test response. So what we have to do is we have to select the same page and the form like we selected right over here in our workflow. So I'm going to select the same right over here. So for the page, we are going to select it as natural glow skincare. And then for the form, we are going to select it as lead ads form. And then we are going to click on preview form. And as soon as we are going to do this over here, you can see that it is asking me to fill in this form. So I'm going to fill in this form with the demo details. So let's suppose that my lead is going to fill in this form. So we are going to enter the demo details of our lead. So it is saying, please select your skin type. So we are going to select it as oily. It is saying me to select the skincare concern. So I'm going to select it as oilness. It is saying first name. So I'm going to keep it as demo right over here. And now for the last name, I'm going to keep it as lead. So I'm going to enter it. It is saying email. So I'm going to keep it as demo lead at the rate pablitudes.com. So I'm going to enter the email and now it is asking me for the phone number. So I'm going to enter a demo phone number right over here too. So I'm going to enter the phone number as this. And now after entering all the details, we are going to click on continue and then submit. And as soon as we are going to do this, yes, yes, we have successfully did the test submission and over here it is saying your test lead has been sent. So this means that lead that's testing tool has sent the details of our test submission to our workflow. So I'm going to open my workflow and check that if Pabli has captured the response or not. So I'm going to open my workflow and yes, you can see that Pabli has captured the response. Over here you can see response A. You can see the skin type, the skincare concerns, you can see the first name, last name, email and the phone number that we entered. So yes, with this we have successfully received the response and with this we have successfully completed our trigger step. And now we are going to move on towards our action step and with the help of the same lead details, I want to create a mailer light subscriber so that I can create targeted email marketing campaigns for all of these leads. So I'm going to look for mailer light right over here as my action application. So I'm going to search for mailer light and as you can see the same. So we are going to select mailer light right over here. And now for the action event, we are going to select it as create or update a subscriber. And then we are going to click on connect. And as soon as we are going to click on connect, it is asking me to add a new connection or select the existing connection. So if you have already connected your mailer light account with the Pabli's workflow you can click on select existing connection and then save but if you haven't you have to follow me click on add a new connection and now it is asking me for the token and over here in the help text it is asking me to log in to my mailer light account or authenticate API request to get the token so over here I'm going to get the token I'm going to open my mailer light account and as soon as we're going to open our mailer light account we have to go on, on the left sidebar and then integrations and after going on integrations over here you can see API so I'm going to click on use right over here and as soon as we are going to click on use you can see all the API tokens that I've already created but I'm going to create a new for that I'm going to click on generate new token it is asking me for the name of the token so let's suppose that I'm going to keep it as testing and now it is saying choose IP restriction so I'm going to keep it as all IPs allowed and I'm going to agree with the terms and conditions and click on create token and as soon as we are going to do this yes you can see over here is our token so I'm going to copy this and then we are going to paste it right over here in our workflow and after pasting this token we are going to click on save and as soon as we are going to click on save yes you can see that we have successfully connected our mailer light account with our Pabli's workflow and now it is asking me for the subscriber email so here you can see that it is asking me to select one subscriber email but over here I want to map this subscriber email so for that I am going to switch on this mapping button first right from here and after switching on this I am going to map the email so what is mapping so mapping is a method by Pabli which which means inserting the data from the previous step and as you know our previous step was the trigger step where we selected Facebook lead ads as a trigger application. So we are going to map the details from the response of our trigger application only and as soon as we are going to map these details automatically my 
details will turn dynamic and change with every new response received so let's suppose i'm going to give you an example that over here i'm going to enter the email right over here manually suppose demo lead at the rate pablitudes.com right over here manually like this then this will not change with every new response received because this is a static information and i have entered it manually but if you are going to map it from the previous response over here you can see the email so let's suppose that we are going to map this from the previous response then this will definitely change because now this field has turned dynamic and my workflow is ready to run in real time too because we have mapped this from the previous response and after mapping the email it is asking me for the status so i'm going to select it as active right over here it is asking me for the groups so now i don't want to assign any groups for this subscriber i'm going to leave it as blank it is asking me for the name so i'm going to map the first name right over here as you can see demos we are going to map it we are going to map the last name too i'm going to look for it and as you can see lead we are going to map it and now it is asking me for the company and another detail so as you can see all of these details are not the required details so i'm going to leave it as blank and move on to the phone number so i'm going to map the phone number because i have this information of my lead and as you can see the phone numbers we are going to map it and after mapping all the required details all the details which i had for my lead i'm going to click on save and send test request so if you wish you can definitely fill these details too if you have these details and as soon as we are going to click on save and send test request yes you can see that we have received a positive response that with the help of the same email we have successfully created a mail alert subscriber so i'm going to put my mail alert account and check for the new subscriber created we are going to go on subscribers from the left side bar and as soon as we are going to open the subscribers you can see yes a new subscriber has been created with the same email address demo lead at the rate pablitudes.com so yes with this we have successfully completed this action step and now what i want is that i want to add these lead details in my google sheets for that i'm going to click on add action step right over here and now we are going to select our action application as google sheets so i'm going to select it because i want to add all of these lead details in my google sheets and now for the action event we are going to select it as add new row and then we are going to click on connect and as soon as we are going to click on connect it is asking me to add a new connection or select the existing connection so if you have already connected your google sheets account with your pablis workflow you can click on select existing connection and then save but if you haven't you have to follow me click on add a new connection and then sign in with google and as soon as we are going to click on sign in with google it is going to ask us to select the gmail account and after selecting the gmail account it is asking me for some permissions so again i am going to click on allow and give pabli all the permissions it is asking for because my data is secure with pabli you can also click on allow pabli save and as soon as we are going to click on allow you can see that we have successfully connected our google sheets account with our pabli's workflow and now it is asking me to select the spreadsheet and the sheet so over here you can see the name of my spreadsheet is new lead and the name of my sheet is lead so i'm going to select the same right over here for the spreadsheet i am going to select it as new leads right over here and then we are going to select the sheet as leads so as you can see that i have only a single sheet so it is automatically selecting that and now we are going to move on forward it is asking me for the first name last name email phone number skin type and skin concerns so you can see that these are the same details which we have entered right over here in the columns of our sheets so what i am going to do is again we are going to map these details so for the first name i am going to look for it and as you can see demo so we are going to map it we are going to map the last name too i am going to search for it and as you can see the same so we are going to map it we are going to map the email too i am going to look for email and as you can see the same so we are going to map the email right from here and as soon as we are going to map the email we are going to map the phone number too i am going to look for it and as you can see the same so we are going to map it we are going to map the skin type also i am going to search for it and as you can see the same so we are going to map it same we are going to do for the skin concern i am going to look for it and as you can see the same so we have mapped it and then we are going to click on save and send test request again and as soon as we are going to do so you can see that we have successfully received a positive response that we have added these details in our spreadsheet so what i am going to do is i am going to open my google sheets and look for the details added and yes you can see the details have been added the first name last name email phone number skin type and skin concerns so yes with this our workflow is successful but i'll just test this workflow once and this time i am going to give you a real time example so what we are going to do is i am going to open my lead ads testing tool we are going to delete the previous lead and refresh the page so it is really important to delete the previous lead and refresh the page otherwise you will not be able to create a new lead or preview the form so now after doing the same we are going to do another test submission for that i'm going to select the page right from here and then the form and after selecting this we are going to click on preview form so again we are going to fill in the details for the skin type i'm going to 
select it as combination and then for the skincare concerns i am going to select as acne right over here and now for the first name i am going to keep it as test for the last name again we are going to use it as lead for the email we are going to keep it as test at the rate pablitudes.com so i am going to enter it right over here and now after entering the email we are going to move on towards the phone number and now we are going to enter the phone number as this so i am going to enter it and then we are going to click on continue and then submit and as soon as we are going to click on submit you can see that we have successfully did the test submission and it is saying your test lead has been sent so this means that lead ads testing tool has sent the details of our test submission to our workflow probably captured the response triggered the workflow and further created a new subscriber in our mail light and also added the details of the new lead in our google sheets so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put my mail light and google sheets and check for the new details added and this time we are not going back to our workflow and clicking on save and send us request i'll directly open my mail light right from here and we are going to refresh this subscribers page to check for the new subscriber created with the email and as you can see a new subscriber created with the email test at the rate pablitudes.com so yes with this we have successfully created a new subscriber in our mail light and now i'm going to open my google sheets and check for the new details added and yes you can see first name test last name email phone number skin type and the concern so yeah these are the same details that we entered in our lead ads testing tool form submission so yes with this we have successfully completed our workflow and i'll just summarize this workflow for you once so for the trigger application we selected facebook lead ads for the trigger event we selected new lead instant for the action application we selected mailer light and then for the action event we selected create or update a subscriber again for the action application we selected google sheets and then for the action event we selected add new row because i wanted that as soon as a new lead is received from my facebook lead ads automatically with the help of the same lead details a new subscriber should be created in my mail light and also the details of the lead should be added in my google sheets So yeah, this automation streamlines our lead management and improves customer engagement and supports increased sales. So yes, with this we can convert our leads into paying clients, like I mentioned before. So yes, this was it for the video. And over here you can see the two subscribers I created during this video with the help of my workflow. And also you can see the two details I added in my Google Sheets with the help of my workflow. So yes, this was it for the video. And if you have any questions related to the video or the workflow, you can directly comment on this. This video and for your reference i'll just clone this workflow and share the workflow link in the description box so that you can access my workflow i hope this video was helpful for you thank you for watching not only these applications but with the help of pabli you can integrate many more applications so now if you have any doubts you can reach us at support at the read pabli.com if you have any queries you can reach us at forum.pabli.com and if you have any pricing related issues you can follow this website and if you find our videos helpful do like and subscribe our channel thank you for watching